welcome to today's video today i have a zara haul for you a long awaited one i should say like i said in my previous video i am actually planning on going away so a lot of these items are definitely geared towards more holiday pieces and date night pieces so yeah if you do like everything that i got in this video let me know down below and don't forget to subscribe for more hauls because i pretty much just do hauls and like lifestyle vlogs on this channel so definitely subscribe if you're into something like that and it's free so why not <laughs> but yeah without further ado i want to show you the first item which is what i'm wearing so this is the green blazer that i picked up i kind of feel like that guy um jim carrey i don't know what film it is but I'm living for it. Like, I think it looks so cute. So I've just paired it with a little bra underneath. I'd probably go for maybe like a blue bra, but I wanted to kind of go for more spring colors. So I paired it with a little yellow one underneath. And this blazer was £89.99. And I honestly think it's such a nice fit. So it's more of like an oversized piece. Um, I could definitely wear it as a dress because I've got the matching skirt set underneath it and you can't even see it so I'd probably just wear this as a dress and probably um, keep well I say I'd wear it as a dress underneath you'd still need a little bit of something hence the skirt so the skirt kind of like adds a pleat can you see how that adds a pleat here and I think that kind of adds depth to the outfit because of course if I didn't have this on then I'd probably um, you know, you'd see my underwear, which, you know, I mean, on show here, maybe, down here, no. So, yeah, um, this is the matching score. I actually don't remember how much this is, but like I said, I'll leave everything linked down below anyway. But I love the two together. I mean, I'll open it up for you so you can see. I'm just going to hold this open. But this is the score, and the score I got in an extra small as well. And I think that it fits quite well. It's definitely um, really fitted. So that's the first thing I noticed about the outfit as a whole. I found it really fitted and quite tailored opposed to the more oversized look. But I really like it. I think it looks good. So I've actually paired this with my CDG Converse. And I mean, I just thought I'd go for more of like a smart casual look. Um, I quite like it and I've also got um, my little black tote that I got from Zara last um, in my last haul. Um, I'll just get that now actually. So this tote um, I thought would go really cute with it. Of course it's got the black stud buttons there. So I just thought that this would look really nice and pair well. But if you wanted to go for like the yellow accents that I've got there, then you could probably just get a yellow tote to go with it. But I love this bag and I love how smart casual this outfit is all together. So yeah, I want to show you the next piece. So here is the next item. And as you can see, it's a bit tight around my waist, but I should have known better because I actually have a brown dress. Well, I think it's the brown version of this dress from Zara. And, um, yeah i had to size up in it because you can see my belly poking through which is so funny but this is an extra small um i definitely say to size up in this dress like because i had to in the previous one like i just said but the color and the fit of this i'm actually so gutted that this doesn't fit me but i'm gonna go on zara and see if they have it in a small because i think the color is gonna be great for spring it's these that are giving me like just sophisticated vibes. I mean, I could probably fit into this in the morning when I wasn't so bloated, but I'd rather be comfortable in my dress, to be honest. And right now I just feel very suffocated. Um, the only way I could probably get away with keeping this if Zara doesn't have this in a small is probably wearing it like open as like a throw over to like a white bikini or something like that. And I do think that that would look quite cute, to be honest, but I don't know. Um, I'm a bit gutted, if I'm honest, but yeah, this is stunning again. And I believe this is 29 99 um, I really like that it's got this band around the waist. So this is what makes it quite tight. But this also is also what gives it that um, hourglass figure around the front of, well, around the waist of the dress. So I'm sure you can probably see that here. It's very tight around this area, which really sucks you in and that's nice because it's nice to be cinched in at the waist especially when you're wearing like a dress like this I think that this dress is quite 
cute, it's very playful, but it's also sophisticated. And I think it's the sleeves that do that and obviously the collar. I mean, you don't have to wear the collar down, it depends what you fancy. You could probably get like a nice patterned scarf to go around the neck of this and wear it up like that. And I think that that would look really nice with a tote again. Um, so yeah, maybe like a bright pink or a green. I mean, the green that I would just um, had like on the blazer, I think that this green would look good together. So like if you needed something to throw over, then you could probably go for this green blazer to match with it. I mean, I'm gutted that this, you know, doesn't fit me because I think that this is such a nice outfit with a nice little tote. So yeah, and again, I've got my Converse on. You're probably, I'm gonna keep my Converse on for the whole video because they're quite versatile. And in spring, I don't really like to wear anything other than canvas shoes anyway. So I thought, um, I would pair it with that, but yeah, this is the outfit and I love it. I love this green, the green with like the vibrant colors. I know that it's gonna come back again um, this season, so I figured I might as well incorporate it, but let me get this dress off anyway before I suffocate. So here is the next dress that I picked up. I feel like all I've got to show you is dresses, but look, this is such a casual dress. It's definitely good for like a spring date day. So again, my CDGs are on. Um, this is a really comfortable outfit. Definitely something you can just throw on, grab a flannel. So I actually always buy myself flannels. I say always, I've got two, but I'm trying to make a point of making sure that I have flannels just to throw on to outfits because in the summer, when, well, summer, spring, when it's a bit warmer and you don't want to carry a coat, a flannel you can just wrap around your waist. I mean, I'll show you anyway because I don't know why I wouldn't. So you can just wrap it, wrap it around your waist and, you know, jobs are good and like you're ready to go. So this dress was $17.99 and I really like how this is really open. So when I picked it up, I did think, you know, it's not gonna be very flattering. It's just very boring and plain, but I wanted to try it nonetheless because I love long sleeves. So when I put it on, I felt like it instantly hugged my body and I'm quite picky with how things sit, definitely around like here because, um, I mean, I'm not the most curvaceous person in this world, but um, I am quite conscious of that. And I don't want, you know, to be looking more like an ironing board if I can help it. So, I mean, it doesn't really matter if I do. I just, that's just, you know, my personal preference. But when I put this on, it was just so figure hugging. And of course it like stuck to my arms every day. And there's just something about a long sleeve dress that I just, love and it's got a collar i mean most of the dresses that i've picked up i think are long sleeved which is pretty much just tells you what i what i go for in a dress but yeah i just thought this is really nice and i like how it's collared and it's really open here so i think this would be really nice especially for if you're going away and you're potentially like you know when you have to go to the shop i mean if you don't go to the shop on holiday to get snacks have you even been on holiday <laughs> So when you're going to go get those snacks, like I feel like this is a great dress just to throw on with um, some trainers, grab a flannel if you need it and just go. And that's what I wanted. So I'm glad I've got this and yeah, I'm gonna put it in my suitcase ready for the holiday I haven't booked yet. <laughs> so here's the next dress. I really like this dress, but I don't like how loose it is around here. And like, I don't think that I have a small bust. So if you have, you know, lesser than I do up here, then this dress is gonna be gapy because it's gapy here on me and I got an extra small, like, did I get an extra small? Yeah, I got an extra small, so yeah, it, that's the only criticism, it's a bit gapy and I think it's because, you know, this doesn't have anywhere to be and I don't know if it's supposed to be a bit lower, maybe. Mm. Yeah, I think it was supposed to be lower, but it's still a bit gapy and that's my only criticism, but how much was this? So, so this was 29.99 and I think I might tie my hair up because it's actually getting on my last nerve. Everything here is just upside down. I gave myself a deadline to film this video by tonight and I just feel like I've over complicated everything. I'm just gonna clip my hair up a bit because I'm having a few issues here and yeah okay so 
yeah i um i do like this dress i just don't think that i would necessarily keep it i don't feel like i feel like up close like for a picture in like an aesthetic place i think that this would look really cute but i just don't know if i like the whole outfit as a whole i kind of feel like a bit i don't, I don't want to say youthful um but i do feel very like ah, you know like girly girly and just a bit i don't necessarily feel really good in this dress but one thing that I will say is, when I um, did the zip up here, it sucks you in like no one's business. And then you've got ruched detailing all down the side. And if you've been here a while, then you'll know how much I love ruching on dresses. I just feel like it really adds to the woman figure and just makes you look, you know? So yeah, it's all mesh up here as well. And it's see-through mesh, so it's really delicate. And I do find that mesh is very feminine, very sexy. And yeah, it just looks really good all around. But I think this quality of this dress, it definitely reminds me, um, well, I wanna say more like a House of CB quality type of dress. Um, the quality from Zara never misses, as we all know. And I think for $29.99, it is a really good dress. I just don't think it suits me very well. <laughs> So here we are with the little black dress of the haul. So I always try to incorporate a little black dress into my hauls because they are a classic and can be worn on any occasion. So this one is a satin one and it has the ruched detailing which goes down to the side. And this definitely makes me feel very curvy, very womanly. <laughs> I don't know, I just feel very... I want to say sophisticated but sexy in this dress i think it of course it's a little black dress you can never go wrong i think this with a pair of lace-up sandaled heels would go down a treat a red lip black bag and just keep it very simple i think that this would look great a little french manicure couldn't go amiss so yeah the roof detailing really keeps you snatched here and like i said i like when there's a band around the back um, of the dress because it really adds and flatters your bum area so yeah this dress was 29.99 i believe and like i said everything will be linked down below i picked this up in a size extra small and to be honest i do feel like um this is very true to size it does have a lot of give um it's not necessarily stretchy but because of the ruching you can definitely pull and ruche as and where you please um the only thing that makes me feel a bit hmm is the diamante sleeves that they've got going on here so depending on how classy you did your hair and makeup this could look really good and if you or really bad do you know what i mean so you kind of want to go for a very minimalist look especially with the glitz and glamour of this maybe like a really dainty chain like silver chain to go with it obviously because of this silver hardware but yeah i think that this is a really beautiful dress and it would be lovely for a little date with you know your friends or a date with uh, a partner and i think it looks great i mean i love how it looks from the back i like the little arch it's given me you know, and girls like what like that. <laughs> That's how I feel like right now. But yeah, this is the dress and I really like it. I mean, I always say I really like it, but I think as far as little black dresses go, this is one of my favorites. So yeah, and it's long sleeved, of course, because I hate being gold. <laughs> and last but not least, we have the final dress. So this dress is just sexy. Like as soon as I put this on, I was like, yeah, this is nice. So. Um, if you've been here a while then you'll know that I'm kind of like against, not against, but I don't really like wearing brown. I usually feel like it just does not match me at all. I feel like it makes my complexion look weird and yeah, but I feel like this brown isn't so bad, but I might look back at it and just be like, mm-mm. <laughs> the dress in itself, I love the way it's styled, so it's off the shoulder and it actually cups off here. So with off the shoulder dresses, I kind of try to pull it up underneath like my bust area just so that I don't have that overhang like do you see the difference so you get the overhang if you do that but if you pull it up into your armpit the overhang's gone so just a little trick there in case you didn't know but yeah this is the dress so it's got a little cut out here and a little cut out there and then the back it's got a cut out here and then it's kind of just plain um scoop down which again 
just a really sexy dress so i think that this with a pair of sandals and maybe like a few strands down and like a half up half down ponytail like effortless would look beautiful maybe like at sunset i mean anything at sunset looks beautiful anyway but i just always dream of holiday okay so yeah this is the final dress this was 29.99 and zara always have dresses at this price point which is what makes zara so affordable and just so on trend so 29.99 for this i mean i feel like if i was to purchase something like this from anywhere else i'd probably be looking at about 60 80 100 mark uh, for the quality of it for the detail in it as well i definitely would happily pay more for this so yeah it's got the ruching it's mesh and it's stretchy honestly i don't know what more you could want i feel like when you know you've eaten and you get a bit bloated you're gonna be it's very forgiving the dress in itself is very forgiving because it's got that ruched mesh detail in here along with the elasticated so you're not going to feel restricted and like i've said before i don't like to feel uncomfortable in my clothes i'm buying things so that i feel good in it but also so that i feel comfortable in it because i haven't got time to be feeling uncomfortable in my clothes anymore like no not a thing it's not happening so yeah this is the final dress and yeah that's it for today's haul i actually have another haul that i'm going to be filming tomorrow which will probably be up during the week or potentially at the weekend i have a pretty little thing haul and a zara haul to show you um just the final bits that i've picked up because zara is you know my favorite shop everybody knows it i just love the shop so much so yeah uh don't forget to subscribe if you did enjoy this video my name's renee and thank you very much for watching and yeah i'll see you in a brand new video which will be next week because i keep having breaks which is naughty and it's just not okay so yeah <laughs> See you later guys, take care.